guys, Marco here, welcome back to another lesson. Today we're gonna to have a look at this Latin jazz chord progression, which is really, really cool to play. Now we're gonna take it step by step. I'm gonna break down this lesson into three different sections, the rhythm, the chords, and the melody. I'm gonna show you how to play what I was playing at the beginning of the video so that you can learn it and then hopefully apply all these chords to your music and to your chord progressions. So hopefully you get inspired and these chords are not too difficult for you to play. You can get the tab, just check my Patreon page and become an active supporter of this channel. Thank you so much to all of you guys who support me on the Patreon page. Also subscribe if you like the lessons as you know, we kind of try to post really cool stuff. Now let's get started with the rhythm. Let's see how we can break down the rhythm for this Latin jazz chord progression. Now the rhythm sounds like this. Now it sounds complicated, but we can actually break down the rhythm into two different rhythmic patterns. The first one is super simple. One, two. Where the one is played with the thumb and the two is played with the fingers. Now the second pattern is like this. One and two and. So we have thumb, fingers, nothing, fingers. So in the second pattern, you have to be careful because there is you know, a gap on the second count. One and two. Now for this rhythmic pattern, we're gonna play the first pattern, the second pattern twice, and then the first pattern again. I'm gonna do it slowly. One, two, one and two, and one and two, and one, two. A little bit faster. One, two, one and two, and one and two, and one, two. You can practice this pattern over this chord, which is the A minor 6, just the 5th string open, the D string fret number 4, the G string and the B string fret number 5. Root note, 6, minor 3rd and perfect 5th. Beautiful sounding chord. Now that you memorize the rhythmic pattern, it should be easy to play this over the chord progression. Now the first chord is the A minor 6. And for each chord, we're going to play two different bass notes. Sounds like this. So for the A minor 6, we're going to play the 5th string and the 6th string. So we have 5 chord, 6 chord, chord 5 chord, chord 6 chord. You want to make sure that the chord rings out. Now the second chord is a B minor 7 flat 5. So we're gonna play it like this, starting on the fifth string, we have two, three, two, and three. It's a beautiful sounding chord. And this one only takes two patterns, the first and the second. So it's one, two, one, and two, and. So you wanna play the fifth string for number two, the chord, and then the fifth string open with the second pattern. And then we play the E7 chord which will have the rhythmic pattern number two and the pattern number one. So we're gonna have the E7 play like this. The low E string open, the D string fret two, G string fret one, and the B string fret number three. You wanna play one, the sixth string, the chord, the chord again, and then different bass note on the A string fret number two, and then just the G and the B string. When you put together the whole thing and you play it slowly, you will have... So the second time we're going to finish with the E7 chord, so you want to play the B minor 7. And to finish with the E7 chord, you want to plug everything simultaneously and then we play the melody. Now the melody is really, really simple as we have to squeeze these two notes within the chord. So we're gonna play the E string for number one, the E string open, and then we start the rhythm again. Now on the A minor chord, you wanna pause on the bass note. And 
play the other two notes of the melody, which are the E string open and the B string fret number three. And then you play the B minor seven flat five, the E seven, and you wanna pose on the last bass note. So you have, and you play the melody. Same thing, just the E string fret number one and the E string open. And you start again. And again, the second time we're gonna pose on this E7 as we're gonna play a different melody. Now we learned the intro, we learned the first section, now we're gonna play a different chord progression. But in mind that we're gonna keep the same rhythm, so nothing is really changing rhythmic wise, but we're gonna change the chords. Sounds like this. Now before we play this chord though, we had to learn the melody. So we're coming from this chord. And we have. We have this uh, beautiful melody on the G string fret number one, two, B string open, the B string fret number one, and the E string open. So rhythmically works like this. You're coming from this B minor seven flat five, the E chord, and you jump right into the D minor seven. So, put down the chord, and we're gonna play the fifth string, fret five, the chord on the B and the G string, the A string open, the chord twice, and back to the bass note. And this is where we're gonna stop with the rhythmic pattern, so. We're gonna play this beautiful melody on the B string fret number six, E string fret three, back to the fret six, five, and three. And we go to the A minor chord. So we play the A string open, G and B string fret five. Bass on the fifth, bass on the sixth, and the bass again on the fifth. Let it ring out, melody. And then we play the melody on the B string fret number five, six, five, four, and five. And we slide back to the B minor seven fret five, the E seven, and we play the melody. So we have the B string fret number three, E string open, fret one, open, the B string fret three, and we finish with the A minor six. We have the same thing guys, so bass, chord, bass, chord, chord, bass. You let it ring out, and then we change chord, playing this dominant seven chord flat 13, which is an A dominant seven chord uh, flat 13. A string open, the D string fret number five, G and B string fret number six. I'm just kind of strumming this chord lightly. Oh, you with the fingers. And then we start again. A minor. And the last two chords. Um, I'm changing the chords from the, the B minor 7 flat 5 to this F uh, dominant 7 13. So I'm playing the low E string fret number 1, nothing on the 5th, the D string fret number 1, then fret 2, and then fret 3. Same rhythmic pattern. Thumb, chord, thumb, chord, chord, and then the E7. Now the E7, we keep the same chord, and right after the chord, I'm gonna play this melody. So I'm picking the chord, and then I have the G string for number one, two, B string open, for number one, three, E string open, fret number four, and we finish with this beautiful A minor 
6 with the major 7th A minor major 7 so it's the A string open the D string fret number um, 4 and then 5 and 5 and then the E string fret number 4 which is the major 7th so guys definitely not the easiest thing to play on the guitar but definitely super cool to play take it step by step practice the rhythm then learn the chords and then add the melody good luck with this lesson guys and I'll see you next time.